on earth did he find me up here? Emma, hi! Hello! <laughs> Good morning and welcome to Midweek with Mumble's Music Ministry. Today we are actually on our travels again and we followed a friend from previous episodes, Emma Street, who has come here to the Vale of Glamorgan. Emma's son, of course, Christian, has sung for us as well on various occasions. We followed you here. Yes. So you're now working here? Yes, I'm a, a priest in the, the Heritage Coast Ministry area and it's a quite, a, quite a large, wide, widespread area. It's the south of the Vale of Glamorgan and the furthest east we go is to um, St Athen Church in St Athen Village and it's um, Gilston is, ac is across the way from there and this is the furthest west we are and there's in this St Bridget's Church here we have um, Uweni, um, St Michael's Church in Uweni just up the, uh, just up the road we have All Saints in Southern Down we have um, St Isted in Llantwood Major I'm Mar Cross and Monk Nash churches and um, they're on the way to to Llantwit Major from here and I've Llan Hangel Church, that's another one, um, Llan Mice and I've missed out one, I know I have but I can't remember, <laughs> it'll, it'll come to me. Well the idea is that over the weeks and months ahead we'll come and have a look around some of these churches which I certainly have never been to and uh, have various uh, articles of interest and of great beauty. We're not today though really going to spend too long on the church particularly other than to do with remembrance of course. Today uh, when we're filming is the 9th of November of course the program goes out usually on a Thursday so it will go out on what is today I'm sorry this year remembrance Sunday a uh, remembrance armistice day but we're going to look at some of the different uh, things that you have relating to that the first of which is the clock mm -hmm. tell us something please about that well this clock was dedicated on actually on this day in 1919 in 1919 and it was dedicated to the men that fell from this village and the village of Wick just up the road um, and it was dedicated in memory of them and their names, their names are inscribed on the tablet inside the church. Okay, should we go in and have a look? Okay. We've now come inside which is rather nice because it's threatening to rain and here we have the two monuments to those who have fallen in the two great wars. So these are the, the men whose names are, uh, in whose memory yes. the, 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 the clock was built. Yes, they're, they're, I say these are from the, the, this particular village and the village of Wick, which is just a couple of miles further along. And it's, it, notes, it notes on there that the tower clock was installed in their, in their memory. When you think of the effect that that must have had to lose that many mm. people, uh, and of course there would have been so many who were who were injured, and so many with terrible, terrible uh, effects from that conflict, and then moving across, mm. Mm. still a large number of people from a small area who fell.
there's many fine poets of the First World War and indeed the Second. One of perhaps the lesser known ones was a chaplain in the First World War um, who was given the nickname Woodbine Willie because he used to hand out woodbine cigarettes to the soldiers in the trenches. He struggled very much to equate a loving God with the terrible suffering that he saw going on around him. But from it came some very moving and some very powerful poems, one of which is the poem, If Ye Forget. Let me forget, let me forget I'm weary of remembrance and my brow is ever wet with tears of my remembrance, with the tears and bloody sweat. Let me forget. If ye forget, if ye forget, then your children must remember, and their brow be ever wet with the tears of their remembrance, with the tears and bloody sweat, if ye forget. And of course, as we remember the sacrifice and the pain and suffering that, that was gone through in those great conflicts and is still happening in the world today, it becomes important that we don't simply push it to the back of our mind, that we don't think of it as only something that maybe those who like such a thing remember once a year. We need to be aware as Christians that there is a constant struggle in the world against those forces which would cause pain and suffering to others, and that we're called to be part of it. We are called to enter into that fight. We are fortunate that we are not called to take up arms in order to try and establish and keep peace. But we are called to fight with our Lord Jesus to bring his kingdom, to bring his values. We're not called to stand by and to, to think th those things don't affect us. The suffering of humanity is something that we need to take seriously. The Christian faith, Jesus was always one who was looking at the poor and the weak and the helpless and was encouraging his followers, encouraging you and me to do what we can for others, to not just idly let stand by while bad things happen. As Christians, we are not called to just not do bad things. We're called to actively go out and do good. And that often means standing up and fighting against indifference and stupidity, standing up against what is wrong and selfish, short-sighted, what is sinful. We're involved in a struggle and we need to ask God to give us the vision, to know what to do within it, and to give us the strength to fight on his side to bring a kingdom of love and peace and justice for everyone.
Ireland Sunday, let us remember that those whose memories stay in our hearts forever. Lord God Almighty, bless and remember those who have fallen, those who have fallen fighting for peace for mankind in the generations after their war. Bless us as we live in peace and we honour their memories in our hearts today. In the name of Jesus, Father, Son and Holy Spirit. Amen. I mean, the, the church is clearly very old. Is that organ like 11th century or anything? Or? No, no. That was um, 
She looks like a leper. I'm gonna get struck down for that, aren't I?